Okay, we've seen how you can access care plan information on Care Control Mobile. On this video, we're going to look at how you can access information on Care Control Windows. As you can see, we have our staff view loaded. We're going to access a care plan. We can do that by the View Care Plans blue button here, select the resident, and then select Access Care Plan. And as like Care Control Mobile, the first screen that loads is the Care Plan Summary screen. Now we've gone in detail on this Care Plan Summary screen already, so we're not going to go into detail now. What we are going to do is click on our share, Show Care Plan Options, and we're just going to go through some of the extra information you get on Care Control Windows. Now we've already talked about personal details and key contacts. They are the same as they are on Care Control Mobile. Care Notes are slightly different. You have the same date ranges as you do on Care Control Mobile, we also have a search facility which is really useful. If you were to type in the word fall and apply, as you can see I had to go to the last 12 months of notes and then we found a, um, a record which has got the word fall within it. You can press more, you can see more information and if you wanted to you can actually print that individual note. Okay, we're not going to talk about care reviews at the moment. Risk assessments are slightly different on Care Control Windows. When you click on a risk assessment, not only can you see the most recent one like you can on Care Control Mobile, but you can also see the historical ones as well. So here you can see the most recent one is the 13th of the 2nd, but also we've got other full risk assessments going back to some, some considerable time. Consents and capacity. So if the resident has any consents, they will be listed down here, and any mental capacity assessments are listed on the other tab. Mental capacity assessments expire after 28 days, and so what you get using this scroll bar is you get a, a history of all the mental capacity assessments you've ever done. The same with the consents as well. Food, drink and nutrition. This information is about what the resident likes and don't like about food and drink, any allergies they have regarding food, what menus they're currently using and the reason for those choices and also any meal choices they've made and those meal choices are driven from Care Control Kitchen which the kitchen staff will be using. Monitoring analysis we've already talked about but on the Care Control window there's a bit more detail so when I click on the water low we get the same chart that we got on Care Control Mobile we get the same detail analysis but now we can actually look at the individual water lows themselves and if we wanted to we could then print off that water low itself. Incident analysis, this is only available currently on Care Control Windows. This will tell you all the number of incidents that, that have happened for that particular resident. And you can change the filters at the top here so you can make the date range larger, you can filter by incident type what the injuries may be, what locations were, etc. You can view any of those incidents and you can print them out. We've got the medication profile, which is the same as Care Control Mobile. We've also got medication creams. And medication creams shows you a record of all the creams that that resident has and how each of those creams should be applied. It also shows you on the right hand side an application record. So this is when you're recording creams on the Care Control Mobile, this is where that record is written so you can see it individually, as well as of course a note being created. Health issues. If the resident has any health issues, they will be displayed here. And you'll be able to see all of the notes that are associated with those health issues in one place. Medical visits are the same as Care Control Mobile. Linked documents are the same as Care Control Mobile. We've also got a Personal Belongings tab. If we click on the Personal Belongings tab, this will list all the personal belongings that have been recorded for that particular resident. A bit further down we have Life History, which is the same as Care Control Mobile. And then we have a separate tab of Activities. And the lower activities are all recorded and notes are generated. They're also recorded separately in this area, so you can just look at the activities for that particular resident. The very final tab is called Audit of Changes, and this provides a detailed breakdown of all the changes that have happened for this particular care plan. As you can see, the last change that was recorded was the 10th of November, 
2043. It was a note recorded for the urine output, and that was recorded by Jeff Harris. So you can see at this screen, it's a complete audit trail of everything that's ever been changed on the record.